Hey brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing wonderful. So I'm here today to share with you guys some of my natural hair empties. So these are products that I use on my hair that are now finished. So I have seven products to share with you guys. So over the last few months, I've been doing some updates on my hair and I've been getting a lot of questions about what I put on my edges. Whenever I do any hairstyle, I always use Eco Styler Gel on my edges. This is the Clear Eco Styler Gel. I got it from Sally's and it works for my edges. I use it on my edges, it holds them down. It's pretty much the only thing that holds my edges down. My edges are really, really, really resistant to product. I do sometimes use a black wax on my edges if I want to make them darker, um, but normally like on a daily basis, if I'm wearing a wig or if I'm doing like a bun or any kind of style where I need hold, I will use the Eco Styler Gel. This gel does contain protein. It does contain um, some glycerin. The glycerin does help to make it a little bit soft on the hair. This is not something I would ever rake through my entire head though. Like I would never shingle with it or do any kind of like wash and go with it. And that's pretty much because I don't do wash and goes anyway and I would want something that's a little bit softer. This does have a really strong hold. This next product is from Eden Body Works and it is their Coconut Shea Oil. So this is a natural hair oil and it's supposed to be used to prevent breakage on your skin and to add shine on your locks or your braids or your hairstyles. And so you're just supposed to like pour a little bit into your hand and put it all through your twist if you want your twist to be a little more shiny. I used to use it to untwist my hair. Um, I didn't really like this. This is not something I would have purchased. I do like having oils to untwist my hair with and that sort of thing but this one was really, really, really thick. And it was too thick for me. It was just, yeah, I just didn't like it. How I ended up using it, I used about like this much of it and I just realized I didn't like it. So I used it for shaving. I used it in the shower and I put the oil all over my skin and I shaved with it. Usually when I shave, I use coconut oil anyway. So I figure, you know, this is an oil. It's going to work fine. The base is soybean oil and it's coconut oil. It has fragrance, shea butter, and vitamin E oil and corn oil. So I figured it's fine for my hair. It's fine for my skin and I use it to shave. But I wouldn't repurchase it again. And I also don't like the smell of the eating body works coconut stuff I'm starting to really get over the coconut smell I'm just being honest I feel like they infuse a coconut smell in like a lot of natural hair products I'm not really sure why but I don't like the coconut smell all the time I guess I've just been like saturated in the coconut smell that I'm just kind of over it but this is not something I would repurchase I didn't like it this product is from a bio naturals and it's a sweet almond heavy cream I've talked about this product like 10,000 times because I love this product it's a hair moisturizer it has a really nice like powdery scent I love the way it smells it's not too much it's not over the top if you have like allergies or if you're sensitive to smell I don't think it would bother you it's really thick it's really hydrating I do have videos where I've used this I believe in my winter wash day routine which I'll link below I use this it made my hair really 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 soft I know a lot of people asked when you compare this product to the um, heavy cream from Comment Biologics, the Amla and Olive Heavy Cream, which one would you prefer? This is water-based. It starts off with water. The other one is oil-based. It's a lot thicker. As far as which one makes my hair softer, if I'm just being 100% honest, the Comment Biologics makes my hair softer. That is like an instant, like that is one of the only products that I can confidently guarantee your hair will be soft if you use it. So absolutely, that one definitely helps to make my hair softer. I like this one more though, only because it starts off with water, it's lighter. The other one, because it's so thick and because it doesn't start off with water, it just sometimes felt super thick in my hair. I love it for the winter time. I think it's awesome for the winter time. This is definitely better for like the summertime and the spring, I would say. I would use this one for the summer and the spring. The other thing about the Comet Biologics is it's not that easily accessible. A lot of times you're not able to kind of walk into the store and buy it. And I'm starting to lean more towards products that I can walk into the store and buy. Now there are some products that are just bomb. They're phenomenal and I don't care how I access it as long as I can get it. But other with other things, I figure, you know, I would rather be able to walk into a store and buy it. 
and also too when I meet people on the street sometimes and they're talking to me and they're like oh my gosh where did you get these products I want to be able to say oh girl just go to Target and pick it up I don't want to have to say go online they may not ship to your country or whatever the case might be I get a lot of people contacting me from all over the world asking about certain products and sometimes it is hard when a product is super good and they don't ship to certain countries so anyway I'm just going off on a rant right now that product is amazing I definitely give it a five out of five this next product is something that you guys all I'm sure use or have used at one point and it's castor oil it's a home health castor oil I picked this up from the vitamin shop it's a really big bottle I've had it for a really long time and castor oil is very 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 good for your hair it's very good for thickening your hair if your hair is thin castor oil definitely helps to thicken it it also works on your eyebrows or other places that you want to thicken your hair in this is a home health one typically you hear a lot of people talking about the Jamaican black castor oil that's the one that is black and it's made from like the castor nuts in Jamaica and all the other islands and it's very 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 potent this castor oil is the kind of castor oil people drink people drink this castor oil for health benefits but they also use this on the hair and I like this castor oil for mixing it in with things this is cold processed I used to really like using this to mix into like my shea butters or any kind of like lotion so if I'm using lotion and it was too thin I would add a little bit of castor oil it's super 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 thick I would definitely buy this if I couldn't get my hands on Jamaican black castor oil quickly because that I usually order online but this is one of those products that I've had for a long time it's a staple and I definitely would repurchase it this product is from Carol's Daughter and it's called the Marguerite's Magic Restorative Cream they say it's formulated for dry and brittle hair it's a very thick cream I love the smell of this stuff and it just takes me back because I was one of the people who kind of started um, the natural hair journey when it kind of became bigger on YouTube and of course different brands were starting to emerge and Carol's Daughter was one of the first ones to emerge and so everyone was kind of using the same products and this was one of the really popular products for keeping your hair really soft because it's water-based it was still light like it had a really nice light fluffy texture I cannot guarantee that the ingredients are the same Carol's Daughter has changed a bit along with lot of other care companies and we won't even get into that but sometimes they do switch out ingredients here and there so I can't always vouch to say that this is the same exact product because I have had it for about six or seven months but it does start off with water and then it has um, I think Merlua oil and soybean oil and shea butter so those are the first um, couple ingredients in it I like this product I would repurchase it um, it's not like something I would be obsessing over it's it's a it's a good product but there are other products that I have that I like more but I do love the way this smells it smells like it just takes me back I guess it just takes me back <sighs> this product is from Shea Moisture and it is their high porosity moisture seal mask Mongongo and hemp seed oils y'all know I love this this is a deep conditioner it's a hair mask a deep conditioner I think it is extremely moisturizing. My hair really has done well with this product. It is for low porosity hair, and if you need help trying to figure out what kind of hair porosity you have, there are lots and lots of videos. I think I've even done one on how to find out what kind of hair porosity you have. I have had high porosity in the past when I used to dye my hair all the time and mess with it. Now I'm not quite sure because I haven't done the strand test, but I'll link my video below on that too so you can see what your hair porosity might be. But it doesn't matter. Even though my hair is high porosity, this is low porosity and it works for me. It works so well. Softens my hair. I'm, I was really impressed by this product. I, I know some people when I posted the video, they're like, I didn't like it. It didn't work on my hair. And that's how some things are. They don't work on everyone's hair. Everyone's hair is so different. We're all very different. But for me, I loved it and I would definitely repurchase it. It's super thick, super creamy. If you want to see it in action, it's also in my winter wash day routine video. Next product is from Jane Carter Solution and it's a revitalizing leave-in conditioner for detangling, protecting hair from heat styling and the sun. This is also one of those old school faves. This is a really, 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 really popular leave-in conditioner. I, um, um, you know what I love Jane Carter first and foremost I love Jane Carter her products smell really good she's been around for a long time I know she works really hard and I don't want to bash any of her stuff just like I don't want to bash anyone's stuff for my hair this does nothing for it um, I love it as a spray because in the morning I spray my Swiss with it and it smells so good her products smell so good but for my hair as far as moisturizing my hair and I'm not even sure if it says that it even is supposed to moisturize your hair 
It conditions the hair and it detangles. Penetrating humectants increase hair's ability to hold moisture. Pathanol seals the hair shaft, creating optimum shine and manageability. Aloe vera and essential oils deliver and protect the hair and scalp, preventing additional damage from heat styling. I have never used this as a heat protectant before. I've never done that. I've used it simply to moisturize my hair. And like I said, I didn't really think it moisturized my hair, honestly. It didn't. It just smells nice. And it's water. It's moisture, which I need every day in the morning. So it's not something I would repurchase. It's an old school product. I love the way it smells. A lot of people swear by it. So I think it does depend on your hair texture. Oh, this texture. It didn't work well. Wow, that's it? Okay. I usually have so much stuff but I guess that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you have questions about any of these products if you've used them if you want to know more about them just let me know leave a comment below let me know what you guys think about some of these things if you're wondering about my hair I just have it in like a really raggedy old twist out like you guys don't even know how old this is and I don't even want to tell you oh and also let me share with you guys this brand new lip gloss that came out from Glossier it's super juicy I haven't lined though, this is a liner, that's why it looks brown, but it is a clear lip gloss. It's like super thick and juicy, it just takes me back to when I was younger and I used to wear like the roll-on lip glosses and all that. I'm really loving this lip gloss, so I've been using it every single day and just rocking like the real natural look. I'll link my rep page below and you can definitely check it out. Anyway you guys, this video is starting to get long. I hope you guys are doing great. Like I said, I love y'all and just let me know if you have any questions. Big kisses to you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light.